Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Virgo. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of February 22nd through the 28th. So we're just going to see what comes up for Virgo. Journey. So somebody's taking a journey. Uh, going in a new direction. They could be packing their bags, traveling to a new destination, making plans to travel. Um, it does look like it's a little bit scary because this bridge, I mean, it's it's missing some uh, sides, so it's it's dangerous. It feels like you're, you're putting, well, you know, it could be dangerous or it's scary. There's fear here, but I feel like somebody's facing their fears and they're definitely going in a new direction, you know, even though it's a little bit scary. I think that it's you know, uh, facing your fears. I do believe you're going to be facing your fears, having a lot of faith and trust, making a choice this week as to which direction that you want to go. Somebody could also be traveling to you or you could be traveling to them. There is somebody here, whether it's you or another person that is taking a journey. Um, it feels like they've made a decision to do so or they're going to be making it this week. I think it's definitely a very scary decision. Um, there's uncertainty, but it's going to be, the, the journey is going to begin either way. I mean, yeah, it's scary, but I'm going to do it, whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with. Um, twos are about choices, okay? It's about partnerships, and it's about um, having faith and trust. So this may be somebody traveling towards a partnership, you know, and they need to have faith and trust, whether it's you or somebody headed towards you. Um, they could be packing in their bags, making the plans right now, or you are, or something like that. Um, whatever this is, it's definitely a decision, and it's not an easy one. It's a scary one. Um, I guess we're going to take those. Crib. Birth or conception of a child or enterprise. Now, a lot of you only hear birth and you think of a child. It does say or enterprise. So this could be, it's the birth of something new. Okay, this is the birth of something new. A new life. A new beginning. Dog, protection from a powerful friend. You do have some sort of protection. Valley, deep personal strength and peace that assures success. So you are assured success. You may have a friend that is traveling towards you. Maybe this friend wants to protect you, okay? There is going to be something new that is beginning th at this time. So you definitely, there is a new beginning here because when either you or this person gets to the other side, when they get to the end of this uh, road, you know, or they get to the end of this bridge, they, get, they face their fears and they get to the other side, it's going to be like, whew, you know? So it's going to be a, a, a relief. This is somebody that is taking a chance and they're going to be happy, okay? And sh there, there's, there's going to be success. So there is going to be success. For some of you, there could be, I don't know, if it's a friend or a partner that is traveling towards you or you're traveling towards them. Um, a new life is beginning, put it that way. Absolutely. Absolutely. What do we have for Virgo? What do we have for Virgo? These cards are so stiff. I can't shuffle them like that. We have somebody here that's not happy. They're not happy. They're not in a happy relationship. They, they're, they're not. They may, be, they may be alone. Maybe this is somebody that is single. They're alone. They're not in a relationship. You know, they're on the defensive. They want another chance. Somebody, and it's interesting because when I cut the deck, I saw the page of pentacles and the judgment card. So we have somebody here that may be making you an offer. Could be somebody from the past with a judgment card. The, the, the page of pentacles is an offer, a solid, stable offer. Some of you may be even getting an apology from somebody. That's not going to be everybody. But the page of pentacles can be an apology and the judgment card can be forgiveness. Somebody may be asking for forgiveness. There could be a chance for a reconciliation. But 
It may just be a release. It could be the birth of a new life where you're releasing something. You're taking a new approach. The page of pentacles is a new opportunity that is being presented. Okay? It could be somebody, if, if, if it is a new, somebody brand new that is traveling towards you, this could be a past life connection. Either way, you're going to be getting a new opportunity with that page of pentacles. Okay? This is something that, you know, it's going to be a lot of work. It's not going to be easy, but you can build it. You can build this opportunity that you're getting, this opportunity. Offer. It can lead to abundance with hard work and effort. So somebody is getting a new opportunity that could last. It could last. Um, but anyway, what I see here is we have somebody that is wounded. We have somebody that is wounded. They're not happy at all. They may have, uh, there could have been some relationship problems in the past or something like that or their a relationship could have ended they're in no relationship now they're very guarded they're very defensive they're not looking for a relationship and there's somebody coming in their direction there is also somebody here that um has gained a lot of life experience through struggles or through a relationship that didn't work out so anyhow There could be fear, fear, fearful, fear of getting in a relationship. Ten of Wands reversed. So Ten of Wands is making a conscious change. Somebody is making a conscious change. They're looking for balance. They're re they wanting. They're ready to let go of some burden that they've been carrying. This person um, who just wants to let go of a burden. They're ready to let go. I feel like somebody wants forgiveness here, but you may be guarded. You may have your guard up. You may be like, huh, what? You know, um, and it could be a friend. It could be a friend. And some, this person probably wants to protect you or they, they may be worried about you getting into another relationship. If you are in a coupled relationship right now, there could be relationship problems. I just got to be honest. With that Ten of Cups reverse, that's relationship problems. Thinking about going in a new direction, and it's scary to let go of something that has been weighing you down. So this could go either way. This is somebody has been weighed down by some sort of burden or responsibilities or baggage, and it's been healing them, causing them a lot of stress and unhappiness. But this is letting go. It is letting go. It's like, I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for a change. But there is some sort of fear here. There is, and I know that there is. <laughs> Interesting. Just looked at this again. Deep personal strength and peace that assures success. And that is what this card is. So you're going to need to have strength this week. I think you're looking at a relationship that may not have worked out. You know, you're, you're, you're overwhelmed by it. Somebody is making a conscious change to let something go. Giving up a fight, giving up a battle, choosing not to, choosing not to fight, choosing not to play, choosing not to compete after there's been a lot of competition. Happiness. We have a, this is the birth. This is the birth of a, the conception of a child or enterprise. And the page of pentacles is an enterprise as well. You are getting an opportunity for a rebirth or a renewal or, you know, something that's going to make you very, very, very happy. You may, you may be dealing with somebody that's not happy over losing you. And, and I don't know if that's the case, but this is, this is a not happy act of, for being dropped. Um thinking about fighting somebody may be thinking about fighting for you um but that may it could there could also be somebody brand new here if you're single this is a new day it's a new beginning it's a breakthrough um this is the birth of a new life so this some of you may be getting pregnant okay if, if that's where you're at anyhow um this is a yes answer it's acceptance it's a beautiful, beautiful time of growth and fertility. Somebody is, is 
just wanting happiness. Somebody just wants happiness and they're headed towards happiness after they have been fighting They've been fighting something, carrying, holding on to something that they needed to let go of. You know, they were, maybe it was a relationship. Maybe it was, uh, the need to win, you know, but anyway, somebody is letting go of something that they, they've been fighting. They've been fighting something and now, and maybe it's just fear, but there is happiness here. This is a new day. It's a breakthrough. It's a happy new beginning. And there will be success. The fighting is over. Okay, this, this battle is over. It's over. Somebody is definitely letting go. They're dropping something. It's an old relationship or something like that that didn't work out. And they may want you to give them another chance. I don't know. Um... Now that nine of wands is is somebody that is is very very wounded. I think that you're going to be guarded, and, and and you could be if you are single. You are single. You're not looking for anybody. There could be somebody that is headed in your direction. You're you're not looking for a relationship. You know you you just you know you're not looking for anything like that. And this is a new beginning here. So there is definitely a new beginning. Um, things are going to get better. You may not once you cross that bridge. Once you yeah once you cross that bridge. And you are going to be crossing a bridge this week. King of Wands. Now, the King of Wands reversed is not very confident, extremely fearful. Somebody is fearful. They are fearful. I feel like they're fearful of losing you or something like that. Maybe they're fearful of losing you as a friend, fearful of... Uh, Getting in a relationship. There's lack of confidence, lack of self-esteem, lack of courage. Fearful of being accepted. You've got somebody here that has been fighting. They've been fighting a connection or something like that because of their own self-image problem. Extremely regretful. Somebody is regretful. Somebody is regretful. They're they're having a very very hard time in a place of mental turmoil. Can't sleep. Having nightmares over probably the the, the stress that they caused. There, there's some sort of stress here. You may be worried. You may be really worried about you know playing, being played, being played by this person. I feel like you're going to be getting an offer from somebody. With that page of pentacles that I saw, you're going to be getting an offer, whether it's a job offer or it's from a partner or something like that. You're going to be getting an offer from somebody that probably stresses you out. You're probably going to be stressed out by this offer. You don't want to play any games, right? You don't want to play games. You don't want to engage yourself with, with a competitor that likes to play with the competition. I feel like you will probably be fearful. I feel like you will be fearful of this offer. Um, you may have your guard up. You may be like, I don't know about this. So yeah, I do think that you're going to get an offer from somebody who may want to protect you. Um, and there's a chance for success. Absolutely. But you will need to have strength and you'll need to have courage and you'll need to think positive. So I do see, I do see a breakthrough here where you're going to use, there's a chance for happiness. But you're gonna have to you're gonna have to leave the baggage behind. You're gonna have to drop the baggage of a previous relationship that wounded you. I do see previous wounding here that you have been holding on to, and you're gonna have to let that go. And you're gonna have to be confident, and you have to let go of your fears, and you're gonna have to uh, think positive. Think positive. Um, you definitely have a new beginning here. This is the very beginning. Birth or conception of a child or enterprise with that sun card. There is a new beginning here that could make you extremely happy. But you are going to have to face your fears. And you're going to have to face your worries. And I feel like this week you're going to be in a state of what should I do? What should I do? Um, you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, you could also be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. 
Um, you could be dealing with anybody, but there is somebody here that is traveling in your direction or you're traveling in theirs, and it is definitely scary. And the previous wounds of the past, you know, are a factor. They are a factor. Um, there, this could be somebody new or it could be somebody from the past because I saw that judgment card. Could be either or. But there is definitely a chance for happiness here. We have somebody here that is cowardly. No offense or anything. This person is cowardly and they're really having some serious issues with uh, their ego. And they've been combative, you know. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but that could also be you. You know, you're stable, you're solid, you're secure, you're loyal, you're faithful. You have a lot to offer. You know, the King of Pentacles is somebody that has the Midas touch, that is very stable, you know, uh, is very focused on stability. Somebody is definitely going to, they regret losing you. Or they really want you to give them a chance. You are the whole package by the looks of things. You make them happy or you can make them happy. Somebody sees you as somebody that is valuable. I mean, the King of Pentacles is somebody that is extremely valuable. That has worked really, really hard to achieve success. I feel like you have a golden opportunity right now. You're going to be given a golden opportunity that could lead to happiness. Whoever you are dealing with is stable. They work hard. You're going to have to let your guard down. Stop worrying about what happened in the past, that it's going to happen again. Whoever you are dealing with, uh, may have had their own self image problem, you know, and they projected that onto you and you were carrying that burden. Anyway, I do see you dropping a burden, dropping weight. You know, some of you may be actually dropping weight with that 10 of wands. That's dropping something. Somebody is extremely regretful. And they're gonna, and I feel like they're what, what's happening is, is that now they see your value, and this, and this could be some, I don't know, it feels for some of you, it's a, it's somebody from the past or it's somebody new, because that sun card is somebody new as well. You could have several. I mean, I'm not, I mean, I'm just saying, with that five of wands up there, this is, you know, there could be several options here, and this person may be fearful that you have several options. There's definitely fear here. Somebody is extremely stressed out and they're cowardly. They are cowards, cowardly. So maybe that's why they, you know, haven't crossed that bridge. Anyhow, somebody is going to be crossing a bridge this week and it does lead to happiness. The choice is yours. There's a new beginning here with somebody that could last. Okay, this is somebody that could lead to abundance. Anyhow, so Virgo, this week, I do believe that you are going to, I feel like you're going to be receiving a message or you're going to be, uh, yeah, because of that page of pentacles or an offer. You're going to be receiving a message or an offer that could lead to stability with a lot of hard work though it will not be easy it will not be easy but this is healing it's a very healing energy because this is healing healing stable solid but those fears oh unexpected choice in love i knew it i knew it so you and this is a choice you're gonna have to make a choice do you this is a choice between two do you want to be stuck in the past or do you want to or do you want to what do you want to do 
you're going to be presented with a choice this week in regards to a relationship, a union, a partnership. And I feel like you're, it's like you're looking up and you're like, are you sure? Should I do this? Should I? Should I? Should I? Should I? Well, the choice is going to be yours. This could lead to a lot of happiness. It's a healing love. So anyway, um, I just did it again. Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini. Um, it doesn't have to be, but whatever is happening, you're going to have to make a choice this week in regards to an unexpected love offer. That's what I got. Good luck.